everybody. My name's Sherry. Welcome to my stamp studio. I have a really fun project for you today. We're going to use the linen paper again, but before I get going, I wanted to remind you that if you are one of my customers, you should already have this. If you don't have it, one thing I used to do is go back and check all the tracking to make sure my catalog has got there. There's just too many of you and I'm too busy right now. So if you think you should have gotten a catalog, um, the post office did return one to me. Um, so there appears to be nothing wrong with it. So I stuck it back out in the mail. But if you haven't gotten yours, let me know and I will check the tracking because um, I want you all to have one. If you've never gotten one before and you want to have one and you're in the U.S., then just message me on whatever platform you're watching this on. Um, or you can go to my website and then pull up my email and email me and then I'll be happy to send you one. The first one's always free. They're always, always free, but you get on my list after you've made a purchase and then I have your information. But I'm happy to send you the first one if you've never done it before. Now, this catalog starts on May 4th. So from now until May 4th, you, there's a few last chance items that are on sale um, from the past catalog. So there's some great bargains to be had on the website right now. And along with that catalog ending, I am going to be sending out an updated class list to kind of get all of the current classes that go with that catalog off my website. So there's a couple that you'll have one last chance on those two to sign up for. Um, and then this later this week, I will be opening my pansy class, which will be the first class in May. And you have seen a card. I'm going to use it again on a tutorial when I open that class. Um, but for now, we're going to close off those other ones. The early bird for my triad class, that registration ends soon as well. So if you want to get that discount on that class, then you need to sign up for that. Now today I'm going to use Quiet Meadow, which I've already used a couple of times. So we used it here. So you can go back and watch this tutorial. I love this card. I did this card for a shoebox swap with my demonstrators when we did on tour. It turns out pretty no matter who does it and no matter how the color splotches on there it's just a gorgeous card this tutorial is up and then last friday so this would be the tutorial that placed right before this one i did this same same stamp bundle the quiet meadow the dies in this are just lovely um but this one again you can go watch the tutorial but i used the linen paper which is new and it's called linen paper it's adhesive back you're going to see me use it now um again but once you peel that adhesive off, it's really just linen. So you're just working with some linen. So if you watched that video, one of the things I told you was this is where we punched out or cut, die cut out the dies that we're going to use again on this one. I told you to keep this because this, um, the paper is, you know, you only get two 12 by 12 sheets of it. So you don't want to be wasting it. So use one of these little things then as your experiment. So today you probably saw in the thumbnail, we are going to be spritzing some color on and stamping it. So before I did it on a full piece and then found out, oh, that doesn't work. I had my little piece here that I have saved. Um, I actually have two because I make a card and then I do one in video. Um, but you can see I've tried blends, I've tried stamping, I've tried stamping in color, and then I tried the spritzing. This way you can figure out on this, is it going to work or I'm going to ruin, ruin a whole piece of um, linen. And this worked. So for this card, I'm actually going to also use um, the contour and uh, color and contour, I think, bundle. The frames from that, which I do have tutorials up from that as well. We can't buy very many sets when the catalog first goes live. Um, but the ones I have, I'm trying to use so you can see. So we're going to do basic black. And then we are going to have um, the one that we do our background. Again, just like my other one that I watercolored and the one that I have um, that we're going to stick the linen to. Because when you work with the linen and you pull that sticker off, like I said, it is just linen. So there's really no paper to it. So I have, this is the linen. You can see 12 by 12. And I've made several projects, but you know, it's starting to go away. That's why I like to have this to test on. So I'm not using up the pieces of my real paper. So what I did, I'm going to use this fun frame from the, I think it's called Color and Contour. I meant to look. Um, it's a really fun bundle as well. So I'm going to put this on here, try to figure out where you get the best. Um, this will have a little bit of waste if I go this way, and it's not quite big enough that way. So I'm going to come back over here. That way it'll leave me a nice whole section over here and a bunch of long ones, because I can use those later to cut these dies out. So if you're doing my triad class, um, we will you will get a piece of this in that. That's a class where we do it's online. 
um, 12 projects and all the projects feature new paper, new specialty paper, new ribbons, new embellishments. So you get to try it all from the catalog. Um, so I'm just holding this on here because I don't want to use more than I have to. But I also am kind of lazy and I don't want to get my paper trim around. So we have this. And then just make sure that fits. It does. So we want to do two things. First, we are going to, we need some masks. So I'm gonna put them on here and just trim these out. And it can be any color card stuck for this really, except for that when the card was done, I ended up using them. So that's why I'm going for white. So this is our, just our basic white. Put these on here. This is a, a full quarter sheet. Both of the pieces of my basic white are full quarter sheets. Just run this through. I did mine opposite, because um, you know, the first time you create a card, you're not quite sure where you're going with it. So I'm doing mine a little bit different, and I'll tell you how I did it when I get to the part that was different. So we've got this, pop these out of the white card stock. You need to, they're easy, they come out easy, they're just really delicate because they've got those little stems. So if it doesn't come out, I'd rather pull it out of here than try to pull it out of the paper. So just pop these out. And you know, it's a, it was a beautiful spring day here in Indiana yesterday and today it's going to snow, inches of snow. So my beautiful pink tree will no longer, it'll probably look like dead lettuce by this time on. Wednesday afternoon, but my hands are freezing again. I'd kind of gotten over, you know, my hands being cold all the time. So you wanna make sure you pop out any of these little things that stayed, because we want the whole silhouette to show. Now we're gonna take this. So the original time I made the card, I cut this out before I did this. This time I'm gonna do it differently. Okay, that's gonna take a bit of editing. I had somebody come to the door. Um, and I had to go answer it. So I'm trying to remember where I was. So we've cut these out. I think that, and I don't think I said anything else, but hopefully the editing doesn't sound horrible. Now I'm going to use my Stamparatus plate and I'm gonna use one of these little pieces that fit here. It's just to help the um, pink not from going down to my table, which you can tell I use pink a lot. And so there is some pink overspray on my table, but my husband paints my table for me about mm, probably four times a year. I like when it looks kind of worked on. So the first thing you're gonna do is you are going to take this paper, the linen, and like I told you, you can see I've even sprayed it on my nails from the first time that I made the, the card and my hands have pink on them. So I'm just gonna take a little bit of this on each corner and this is gonna kind of just help it hold it to our basic white cardstock as we spray. because it does have a tendency to curl once it gets wet. So we'll hold that corner down and then we'll hold this corner down. But I don't want it to get all the way through on that other piece, but it's great that it has that adhesive here. Now I'm gonna take seal because seal can be removed. And I'm just gonna add it to a couple of places so we can make our little masks here. And the reason the seal, the regular seal is nice is because we're gonna use these again so they won't rip. So let's put one here. You're going for an organic look, so don't worry about exactly where they are, where you're putting them. Let's put this one down here. And you just wanna be careful, because like I said, they're very gentle, very delicate, I mean. So put this here. You just don't want any of these to overlap and you want them nice and flat. This one's the easiest one to take down because it's got this nice big flower at the top. And a little bit there. I'll get that there. I don't care if I lose the stem. So then this is one of our spritzers. This is filled, this is still left from my winter retreat. I haven't, so it's been sitting here since January. It was water and about 12 drops of Magenta Madness refill when it was full. 
but I've used it a couple of times and made a few cards with it. Um, and then it also does have some shimmer paint in it a little bit. Um, so if you like the shimmer, you're going to need to get that before it's gone because it's on the last chance list, but it is on um, clearance. I don't have so much in this that it's going to be an obvious shimmer. And with the pink, you don't see it quite as much, but I love it. And it's been one of my favorites. I just didn't want to waste this. So now you're going to spritz this. I want it to be kind of ombre, but like I said, the paper does curl. Um, so I'm going to try to get the, the bottom with more ink. So just kind of aim it. I use my thumb and you can see how it curls. And then up at the top, I went a little bit less. So I've got that. It's curling some, and you could do all four corners if you want. I don't think you need to. You just need to let it get dry a second. And it's kind of that difference between the, the paper and the sticker. As you can see over here, these have stuck nicely. And just gently pull these up because we are going to use them again. If they tear, that's okay. You can just do cut some more because it's just white card stuff. Then if the seal's on here, you need to take it off. If it stays on that, you can leave it. Isn't this pretty? And I my card in my mind was a little bit more um, natural colored when I was going to do it. And then I saw this vial of pink spritz here and I'm like, no, I'm just going to go with the pink. So it kind of looks like when you, you know, as a child, you did leaf prints out in the sun. Isn't that pretty? And my other one has a little bit less up there because when I'm doing it and I'm not talking to you guys, it's easier to not spray. Now I'm going to, I mean, to not spray too much. Pull this off. It doesn't matter that you're going to lose a little bit of this corner, but it was nice to hold it on for us. Now pull the whole thing off. You can see where it soaks through there. It kind of removes a little bit of the sticky. Let's put it back on here. Sounds like I could get another delivery. I don't want to go to the door again. And my dad's supposed to be coming over at some point too. So that's why I answered the door the first time and I didn't need to answer it. So pull this up, try to get it as flat as you can. On my other one, and now my fingers are a little bit sticky. Um, I just push down on these, which is kind of fun because then it's very obviously fabric. But see those bubbles go away pretty easy. But I didn't mind a few little ripples and rinks in it because then it makes it look all the more fabric-y when you put it on your card. But because it's got that sticker back there, you can, and you can see that's dry. It may be alcohol in here. Mm, it's water, it doesn't smell at all. You can do alcohol and it would dry just a tad bit faster, but I'm not sure what the alcohol would do to the back of the card. It's It dried faster than I thought it might. Now I'm going to take these, although they're pretty pink this time. The first time I did it, because I sprayed less, they weren't as pink. If you want them to be a little bit more pink, you're not going to use all of them. You're just going to use your favorites. This will, if you just hit one part of it, then that will dry a little darker than the rest. And now that one's going to have lots of really pretty shimmer on it. So now this is where we're going to pull over that frame from this. The first time I did it, I cut my um, linen paper out and then I matched it back up to the cardstock because I wasn't quite sure what I was making with it but this will be an easier way to do it so just line this up on here and you can do it obviously I want these at the top because I want all of that pretty print on there so put that right there you don't want it to go through speed bumps so make sure it's a little catty corner I just love um, if you follow my channel, you know I like different. I'm not opposed to stamping and punching out a card and putting on a saying and adding a piece of ribbon. Um, but I love anything that's new and different and kind of unique looking. And this fits right up in that, doesn't it? So look how pretty this is. Now we have this really pretty scalloped edge. Really pretty background, which doesn't look anything like my other one because it's all kind of dependent on how you spritz it. But it's a little bit like the tie dye. They're all they're all going to look pretty, no matter how they turn out. You just want to make sure that you don't let your 
things fly up because otherwise your paint, your ink will go underneath there. Get a couple of those punched out. That's, um, the paper's still a little damp and it's cutting through sticker, fabric, and cardstock. Did I get them all? Yep. Nope. It's got that. Then I showed you that when I did this, I tested stamping on it and I really liked the way it looked. Hopefully this is dry enough. So these are the words that come in the Quiet Meadow set. It's just like a taped, um, a taped, a dictionary kind of background. I think it's like a gardening journal words. So I'm just gonna press ever so slightly until they kind of disappear. And I don't wanna go all the way up. But it talks about flowers and gardens and roadsides. <laughs> it's just like a little verse of garden. And go to our black card and this just looks so pretty when you stick this on here is that I love the way the scallops show through I like the way it kind of highlights that black and it really looks like fabric but it's a nice sturdy fabric to stick on there and then I'm going to take your flowers and you can pick which one you could put them all if you want I didn't want to put them all because I didn't want it to cover up all of that. If you put all of them on, it's kind of hard to tell what you just did. Um, and we'll have some other pink flowers. This is the, that you can use for something else. This is the twine from the pet, the pets. So you may have um, never looked at the pet suite before because you're like, I don't have a cat or a dog. I'm not going to buy this. People do the same thing with the Halloween suite. If you don't look at suites because you don't think you'll use the stamps, sometimes you miss some of our most fun accessories. So I'm just gonna take this black and white striped twine. We do have a new just black, but I really liked the way this looked. And this is super simple because it's just tying a bow and it's just like tying your shoestrings. So if you can't tie bows, so literally just tie it on there, make sure your knot's good and tight. And then that will stay on here. And then I'm going to take the tiny dimensionals that you can see got a little bit of pink spray on them. Add some here and add one here. And then I'm gonna be able to lift this up. My hands are pretty magenta pink. So put these on here. I like it to be a little bit raised up so you can still from the sides see this really pretty pattern that we have going on. You can kind of decide where you wanna put it. My other card goes the other direction, but we'll do this because I really like that and I don't want to cover that up. There's no wrong or wrong or right to where you put your flower. I'm just going to pick this up. I don't want my ribbon to fall off. You could use a glue dot, but this is sitting here and it's very easy to control. So just do that. Then I still have these and they're really too pretty to throw away, aren't they? So let's take one of these. The other thing I like to use my Stamparatus plate for is to tape on, because you can just rinse it off. These are still a little wet, and I don't want to tear them. So we have this. You could use both of them if you want, but one's prop is plenty. Look how pretty that looks. You could use the white paint pen or white ink to stamp your greeting in there and then sign your name. Super pretty. And then one final last little touch is to take the matte black dots. I'm gonna use three of them and just kind of random to kind of ground that background a little bit. I guess that one's going there. It knew where it wanted to go. These are in the January to June mini catalog and I can't remember if they're carrying on. If you love them, you'll wanna make sure that they're, well, you have till June. We have so many um, different dates right now. It's a little bit much for my tiny mind to remember. So we have, isn't that pretty? And here's my other one. Look how different it turned out just because of the way I spritzed. This one, I was able to get those really pretty colors up there. Um, I didn't do as well on the stems at the bottom. So there you go. I'll show you the inside of this one. So I don't know if you can see that the shimmer and the sparkle, you're only going to get that if you've added the shimmer paint to your little shaker as well. And remember that's on the last chance list. But it is, it's more shimmery than I thought. The paper kind of soaks in the shimmer. I mean, the linen paper does. This is super shimmery. 
So that's what I have for you today. And if you're on my email list, you'll be getting the classes that are closing. And then later this week, you will get the pansy sign up because I've had several of you ask when I'm going to do pansy sign ups, but I don't want you to miss any of the ones that are going away. Um, so head over to my website and just click that online stamping um, link and then you can get all the class information. Everybody have a great day and hopefully you don't get buried in snow. Bye.